<laughs> there you go guys. Should I open my mouth more often? Hello people. How you all doing? I is back. Yeah, long story store, uh, short. My laptop's been really rubbish, so I haven't been able to make any videos. And just a lot been going on in life recently as well, so yeah, that's why there's been no videos. But I'm back now. Just standing swerving, got the trusty fork, got a Dixon lug worm. Got all these rocks here as well, so I'm going to try and find a few crabs, see if there's any peelers about. And yeah, plan later. Go out fishing, probably right down shore and over there in the distance, and see what we can find. Um, seeing someone else just been bait digging down there, so it's a good sign that there's worms about. So yeah, let's let's do it. Well guys, I only managed to find a couple of pillars where well, they've been peeled and nice and soft. So that opens the options for like smooth hounds, bass will take them as well. So I've got about 30 to 40, half decent sized lugworm. So yeah, like I said, high tides, about half past two I think. So I'm going to be heading over to Shoreham and yeah, start fishing over there. So I'll see you in a couple of hours, guys. All right, guys. Finally here, down shore. Just standing on the first rod. Just going up, going for the one up, one down rig. A couple of lugworm each hook, so one hook above the weight. There's the weight. The other one, about a foot and a half down below the weight. Just going to give that a gentle lob. Sea is reasonably flat. Bit of a southeasterly sort of breeze to it. Big party going on there, but hopefully it won't affect fishing too much. And reasonably clear down that end. So yeah, just gonna chuck going out probably 50 yards or so. And yeah, it's gonna be my scratching rod. Hoping for some plays, uh, maybe some schoolies, anything really. Just be happy to catch anything. The second rod on the white tip. So I put um, a pulley rig on there. Just of one of the peeler crabs I found earlier, all clipped up. And that one, I'm going to send out to the moon. About to say, I've loosened the drag right off my right hand rod, uh, the one with the crab on it. I just had a bite, a nice pull down. Um, it's literally been out a minute. Just seeing that anything else happens. So it's just a quick pull, and that was it, and it's run back up. I have to keep an eye on that. Don't think the drag's pulled at all. I can just about make out the writing on my reel so I can see if it spins or not. Nothing on the left hand rod yet either, but it's time to just wait and see what that bite was. Guys, I've got slack flying everywhere. I'm going to take it in quick. I think I've got the GoPro working as well, so let's see. Is that a good fish, people?
of people, hands are in. We have five, six pounder here. So I've got my foot next to it. Give up a nice scrap. Go take a couple of photos and then I'll chuck it back. Normally, oh, we chuck these back, they swim back on you. Wee. Got no teeth or anything like that, they've got crushing plates and their diet is mainly like crab. This one unhooked itself whilst I've got it back in my lounge. But let's see, it's just swimming away quite nicely. Wait for a little way. Keep an eye on that. I don't really want to chuck it in on its stomach. There you guys. Off goes, what was up? Well chuffed for that guys. Nice way to start the session. First cast, glitch out about a minute and it hammered the crab straight away. See we can find a bigger one. And on the lug worm rod. But I've been stripped. And also, a hook for me. See that? That's either spider crabs or smooth hounds got hold of a lug bait and gone straight through the line because it's only a uh, 15 pound line. So, potentially, the hounds are out there clearing up. Which means, could be in for a good session. So, I've never wind in. No bites or anything for about an hour now. I've been stripped again on the crab one. So, I'm down to my last bit of crab. Just got some filming donkey swimming in front of me, hasn't even looked up once. I made sure I didn't fish in the swim zones today as well, just because I know it's going to be busy. But here you go. But I came on fishing, I just put a bit more crab on, hoping to find another smooth hands. <laughs> I've got another lab door swimming to my left now. But hey ho, it is what it is, what it, is. it is what it is. But just need to find some more fish. It'd be nice to find some place today on the lug web. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. There you go guys. Should open my mouth more often. Nice little place there. That's on the lug worm. On the bottom hook. I need to spoil honey by 20 centimetres or something like that. So nicely dip hooks. So we get on hooks and we give it a nice release. Okay, let's give this a little release. So we find a nice way for it to go out on. I can ask this wave here before we put nice. Let's go ahead and get belly up. Well, I think that's the plan. <laughs> See if it's gone. I think it's gone over after that. Can't set it in around anywhere. But that didn't go to plan, but oh well. There's another fish right to the tally. Well, that was a bit fluky. Sound on a really nice catch of place and I've managed to catch a place. So what shall I catch next? Ten pound bass, nice big ray. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, it's now 40 minutes past high tide. And I've been stripped every time on the crab bait it, on the crab bait, but I haven't noticed any bites. But what many people don't realise as well, smooth hounds love pawns and stuff. And I completely forgot, but I chucked some prawns in uh, in a bag with some frozen mackerel. So I've got some prawns with me. So I'm going to chuck these out as well, so I can find new hounds. Keep freshening up on the other rods with the lugworm. Uh, nothing. The sun's actually come back out, it went a bit cloudy for a while. So, you never know, fishing might start picking up again. Oh, that's the prawn gone. Well, it's really stripped off. No obvious bites. So I've got a feeling the crabs must be out of numbers. Must be spider crabs, I reckon. But yeah, time to bet up again. It's happened again, guys. Hook removed. Gotta be spider crabs, surely. Okay, see, a bit frayed up and stuff. 
could even be smooth hounds pushing the line up. But bait stripped again. Time to tie on another hook and give it another go. Right guys, I'm calling it a day. Bait rods come in, completely stripped again. So it's got to be crabs, wider crabs, something like that. But I'm thinking about going out lure fishing later on this evening. It's a little bit windy in here, a little bit choppy, so I'm on two minds. But what I do, if I do go, I'll um, add the video onto this. But if I don't go, there won't be a video to add onto this. So I'll say my goodbyes now, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.